don't know how much else you guys want to talk about, but we can squeeze some Secret Empire in here real quick. Secret Empire 2 came out, technically Secret Empire 3.5. Yep, three and a half. Trailer is real detailed. Oh yeah. Um, so Secret Empire two, there's a lot more world world building to it. I f- I liked it, not as much as the first one, but I feel like I probably could have. It could have been chopped up and stuffed into a different issue. Really, the only like the last four pages matter. I really like the Kingpin stuff. The Kingpin stuff is really cool. I um, like um, the Zemo and Cap stuff is really cool. I really like that. My the story that I want to see from that book really really bad is is Dagger because yeah. she has one panel and in that one panel with one line there's an entire story there because she's the one keeping the lights on inside the dark world but only for a couple of hours a day and Cloak is there talking her through it because she's killing herself trying to keep enough light that people don't die by demons. Which yeah. is amazing. Yeah, I want that story. Yeah, we were talking about that outside. Yeah, Dagger is which how did awesome. I don't know much about Cook and Dagger. I just like the whole concept yeah, of like amazing. Which how did Cap not think about that? Dagger? No, people dying by demons. <laughs> oh, I don't think he cares. Well, I mean, Cap, <laughs> well, Cap is still in there a bit, and we, I, we yeah, see it in this well, issue. But you and, think well, you're like, well, they're in the dark, dark well, world. And and with issue two, we also learned that uh, he didn't order the hit on on Vegas. He yep. gave he gave that to Madame Hydra because he couldn't do it himself because he was afraid to do it because he still doesn't want anybody to die. But I just don't think he is thinking about it because I don't think he's allowing himself to. Yeah. I think that he's probably. I think he's aware that people are dying. But I don't think he can allow himself to think about it because that would that would uh, pause his plans for the glory of Hydra, and he needs that. I think it is outweighing his guilt. Yeah. So, what do we think of the ending? I think it's all. I think it's all in his mind. I think the ending where you see a girl who's blonde and all white running from the serpent uh, society through the woods, and then a guy comes and beats him up, and it's Steve Rogers with a with a beard saying he just wants to get home. Um, yeah, I that's in Steve's mind. I think it's in Steve's mind. I think that theory. I think the girl is Sharon Carter because it looks a lot like a young version of her. And I I I've thought from the beginning that that Sharon's going to be the key to bringing Steve back. I think that that Steve subconscious. I think it's the little bit of him that's left fighting through his mind, and it's going to find an avatar of Sharon, like a memory of her in his mind, to bring himself back. It's a good theory, and it's going to be the because, way. The because art changes. The art's different, and the only th- and Rod Reese had drawn a flashback in issue zero, so he's the guy to draw stuff that doesn't happen. It seems like he was set up as the guy that's, that, that's drawing stuff that's not happening within the, within the main timeline of the book. His art kind of has a dreamy, yeah. kind of yep. undefined the only thing style. That would make me think otherwise is that uh, if I remember correctly, it says it's that that put, takes place in Montana, so right? He's but moving through U- the U.S. in his mind. Yeah, but I mean, and I don't know if that takes right. place in Montana. I think the Montana stuff isn't it with the Hawkeye. Um, I have to look at it again. That's in Vegas. That's uh, outside of Vegas. The Hawkeye stuff. Oh, the Red Room stuff is cool. The Natasha. The Red Room. That's in Montana. Oh, that's, that's in Montana. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Because she's taking the cha- because she's yeah. putting the champions through the new. So I was right. The new Black Widow. Yeah, to make them assassins. Yeah, she's I like, like, Hawkeye, she's like, so. Welcome to the Red Room. I mean, it's said Hawkeye. Yeah, you're, you're good. I got it. Yeah, you're right. That, yeah, that's in Montana. You are right. But I think the end of it is on his mind. I think yeah. I think it's going to be Steve battling be cool. back through his mind. My original idea that this happened, like, Dimension Z plays along with it. Newsarama picked up on. I was very happy about that. I think it could, but... I However... Mean, if, if, unless unless Nick Spencer is lying and saying that it has nothing to do with alternate uh, realities and clones and stuff, unless, he's, unless that's just a red herring to make yeah. us believe that it isn't, then really surprised But also, is. if you remember um, Pleasant Hill, when they used the, the cube to, to fuck with all the villains, they... Some of them were able to snap themselves out of it. I wonder if that's happening to Steve. If if this is with your theory, is that that's kind of how they did it in their own mind? Well, because I mean, if the cosmic cube was controlling it, the cosmic cube is what did it. And I do think that Zemo and them are lying, and that Cap was not born evil. Because their story now is that Cap was born evil or born Hydra, and the Allies changed him into being good, and Hydra just changed him back to the way he was supposed to be. I think it's bullshit. I think they're just telling Steve that to get him more on their side. Oh yeah. I think that Kobik just changed it because she's being manipulated by the Red Skull, who told her that Hydra was the best, and she wanted Steve to be the best, so she made Steve Hydra. But if the Cosmic Cube did do all that, well, the Cosmic Cube has been shattered, and the fragments have gone everywhere else. So if the Cosmic Cube was the key to it all, 
and it's been shattered. Who's to say that the link between Steve's reality and his mind and the, and the cube isn't still linked, and the and it fracturing caused it to cause the wall to break, and now he can, like you said, battle back, yeah, and break himself out of it because the cosmic cube is in fragments. I'm excited to see what happens. I'm I know you guys talked a bit about the Secret Empire tie-ins. I'm not. I probably won't read those. Secret Wars is really good. But the main the main book is pretty cool. Did you see the, uh, there's a page in it where it shows three guys holding three pieces of uh, the cube? Yes. Did you did, Do you think you know who they are? No, because I'd have to look at the panel again. Looking at it, I the top one looked like Namor. The second one looked almost like Crossbones because it was almost skull No, face. I do because one of them and is, the is Black third, Panther. Yeah, the third one yeah. is uh, Black Panther's Talon or his Claw. Not his Talon. He's not an eagle. Unless, one, unless one is Iron Fist. And there might be a fragment in Kun Loon. I, mean, I, I know, know he's I, in the dark world, yeah, but it, well, there are more. I think there are more than three than three fragments. Anyway, this yeah. is the, this is the big MacGuffin of the story. He's getting them all back, back together yeah. to do their thing before Black Widow can shoot him or Miles can kill him. And I, and I like that, that that Miles is like, I'm done running from this thing. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. I just want to know. We, I just want to go see and see and see if we can if we can fix it. But I, I'm not running from this anymore. Yeah. I like that about Miles a lot. Um, the champions are there because there's friends, and that's going to be cool. I want to read the Uprising book because I want to see the new Red Room and Black Widow and what she's doing with her whole thing. Yeah, because that panel looked real awesome. Where she cuts her hand and just wipes it on the wall. Well, says, <laughs> Welcome to the Red Room. Andrea yeah. Sorrentino, I think, carries this issue. Really, I, and that's not taking anything away from Nick Spencer, but man, Sorrentino's art just art kicked good. ass. It's really good. All I want at the end of this, or even during this, is Logan to show up and just freak out because he's like, oh, he's God. Ah! Oh, God, it happened. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, his 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 nightmare of the villain uprising is true. has happened, and it was capped the whole time. Yeah, <laughs> I want I want him to go to Gene and be like, "See, I told, I told you, <laughs> you assured me, you told me that and, this was not going to happen." And now that means I have to kill you because you're actually you are the Phoenix. So yeah. stab. <laughs> I've watched you die a couple times now. I killed you a couple times. Is she the Phoenix though, or is Quentin Quire the Phoenix, or is Thane Quint- the Phoenix? <laughs> <laughs> The That's Phoenix. the next arc. I, Once I, again, the killing the Phoenix. The editors have no idea what the They Phoenix. are building something up with the Phoenix. I feel I, it in I, my no. bones. I think the editors just don't know who has the Phoenix Force. <laughs> and I, I they don't think, talk to each other. I think three things are, are happening. 